before this video starts, I just want to very quickly say that I now have a Discord, and I also have a Patreon. The Patreon will be any of my project files that I include in any tutorials, and any of the files, just in general, that I include in tutorials. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell, so that way you're notified every time I post a video, and if you like Blender tutorials, then hit the subscribe button. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today we're taking a look at the caustics and glass materials for Eevee. Uh, this is an add-on that is on BlendSwap. Uh, link will be in the description below, you can get it right here. Uh, but basically what this does is it adds realistic glass and caustics to Eevee. Now if you don't know, glass and Eevee is very, very finicky and doesn't really look real at all whatsoever. Um, but this add-on changes that, so if we go ahead and hop into rendered mode here, we can see that this is glass. Um, no surprise there, but it's realistic glass. Uh, you can see that there are caustics, um, refraction, reflection, and the glass just looks a whole lot more realistic than um, regular EV glass. So, uh, taking a look at the shader itself here, this glass 2.3 shader, to get this in your project yourself, uh, you would just go to file and then append and then wherever the blender project is and then materials and then glass 2.3 and it'll bring it into your project. So uh, with this um, what we can do is we can change some of these settings right here. So the brightness is the brightness of the glass itself and the brightness of the caustics. I'm going to go ahead and change that back. Uh, we can change the specular tint of them uh, which is how the glass absorbs the light. Uh, we can change the dispersion of the light in it. Uh, we can change the index of refraction. Um, we can change that to like 1.45 or something, and that is pretty much just regular glass. Uh, but we're going to keep that at 30 for now. Um, you can change the th the, 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 the the thiskness of the glass uh, right here. Um, you can change how thick the glass is. Uh, I'm going to change this back to 0 0.02. Uh, the opacity of the glass, how opaque it is. Um, the caustics themselves, so if you remove all the caustics, you can see that there are none of those caustics on the floor there. If we turn it back, we can see that there is now. Uh, the roughness of the glass, so if you want like really rough glass or like kind of not rough, like a frosted glass kind of thing, uh, you can turn that all the way down. Clear coats, clear coat roughness, <coughs> excuse me, uh, from minimum uh, and then to, from maximum. Uh, don't, I'm not really sure what these do. To be honest with you but they do something apparently um, and then two min and then two max uh, just basic settings like that uh, you can also add a normal map a bump map and then you can change the strength and the distance of those normal and bump maps as well so clicking on the actual shader and hitting tab to open the shader group we can see there is quite a lot going on here uh, so first we have this huge spaghetti jumble of a mesh and the nodes that take part in this are a separate RGB node, a multiply node, invert, a mapping range, and a bump node. If we go over here, we can see we have a multiply with a mix RGB and a principal BSDF. Same thing right here uh, with a subtract node in the index of refraction and normal. And the same thing right here except the multiply or the subtract is replaced with an add. And this all goes into an add shader with another add shader, which then goes up here to the transparency options. And we have a Fresnel, um, another math multiply node, another math multiply node, a transparent BSDF, all that put in a mix shader thing. This brings us over here to the caustics. So we have a geometry node, a dot product node, a uh, color ramp node with specific settings on it, a transparent and diffuse BSDF, uh, all connected to a mix shader uh, with a light path connected to each shadow ray. Again, put into a mix shader and then finally put into the output node. So now we have that, um, and one option I didn't just go over is the color of the glass. You can obviously change the color of your glass like that. But yeah, this just adds more realistic glass to Eevee. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much that. That's pretty much the add-on. Um, so I just wanted to go over this add-on. Um, it'll be the first link in the description like always. But thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time.